Animal welfare has become a fundamental part of animal production. The past 20 years has seen exponential growth of animal welfare guidelines, committees, organizations, audits, and marketing programs. There has also been an increase of consumer interest in production practices. The rapid growth in expectations, programming, and changes in regulations has been overwhelming for many producers. Resources such as the Code of Practice for the Care and Handling of Sheep are available to help producers know their responsibilities regarding animal welfare. This presentation was developed by J. Woods Livestock Services and the Alberta Lamb Producers with funding from the Growing Forward 2 program to provide an overview of animal welfare and humane handling. As producers, why should we worry about animal welfare? First and foremost, because it is the right thing to do. We owe it to our animals to ensure they are well cared for. When animals are experiencing good welfare, they reward us with optimum production. Our customers, consumers, and society in general expect us to raise our animals with the greatest care and respect, and because by law we have to. It is our obligation as livestock producers to provide an environment where our animals experience minimal stress through optimal care. The duty of care is both a legal and moral term that defines an individual's obligation to the animals in their care. It states, if you are responsible for an animal, you have a duty to care for that animal regardless of why the animal is in your care, the purpose of the animal, or how long you will care for the animal. By simple definition, animal welfare is the state of being that the animal is experiencing. State of being means how an animal is coping with its environment. An animal's environment consists of housing and facilities, nutrition, health care, husbandry and handling. Each of these areas is managed by owners and caregivers. An animal's welfare is gauged by how each of these aspects is being managed. Two of the more commonly identified areas for improvement are facilities and handling. The goal of improvements is to make handling as stress-free as possible. Benefits of low-stress handling go beyond practicing good animal welfare. Through low-stress handling, a producer can increase productivity, decrease illness and injury, help ensure good meat quality, decrease their own stress levels and chance of injury all of which will increase profit by decreasing losses and input costs. To effectively improve facility layout and handling techniques, one must first understand the natural behavior and instinctual reactions of sheep. Sheep, like all grazing species, are prey animals and will perceive humans as predators. Prey animals have an extremely strong instinct to herd. One of the most stressful situations for prey animals is to be isolated. Sheep are one of the more gregarious prey species and will panic when singled out. Attempting to move a single animal away from the flock will cause it to panic and attempt to flee back to its flock mates. It is very important for sheep to keep predators within their line of vision at all times. This is a survival mechanism. They always feel safer when they can see potential threats. As the handler or predator approaches and begins to enter their safety bubble, they'll begin to move away. This is part of their natural flee or fight reaction. Sheep will move away until they are a comfortable distance from the perceived threat. This distance is commonly known as the flight zone. Learning to use the flight zone is important for achieving low stress handling. For the flight zone to work effectively, the handler must be within the animal's line of vision and not in a blind spot, so it will respond to the visual pressure. Sheep are unique in that their line of vision can vary greatly, ranging from 191 degrees to 306 degrees. If a sheep is heavy in wool, especially around their eyes, their vision can be very limited to the side and behind them. Handlers must position themselves so the animal is able to see them. The most common mistakes made by handlers while gathering, moving, and sorting livestock include going too deep into the flight zone, exhibiting too much predatory behavior, moving too many animals at one time, not having control of animals leading the group, facilities that impede the flow of animal movement, and trying to rush the movement. When handlers go too far into the animal's flight zone or crowd them, the animal's natural instinct is to flee. The intention of using the flight zone is to engage movement without causing animals to panic. By staying on the edge of the flight zone, handlers can keep animals moving in a controlled and steady manner. To minimize fear and stress during handling, we must minimize our predatory behavior. We do this by restricting aggressive behavior, including yelling, rapid movement, striking, crowding, 
or getting too close. Flock movement is reliant on the actions of the lead animals. We commonly see people pushing the animals at the back of the group in an attempt to get the entire flock to move forward. To gain control of the lead animals, the handler may need to reduce the number of animals in the group. Once handlers encourage the lead animals to begin moving, the rest of the flock will follow. Facilities should be designed in a manner that sheep are able to maintain visual contact with the animals ahead of them. This will stimulate continual movement of the sheep through the system. Handling facilities should be clear of any visual distractions as they may impede movement. Visual distractions may include shadows, garbage on the ground, water puddles, people, dogs, or items such as coats hanging on a fence. Facilities can be built with solid sides placed along the sheep's line of vision to block out distractions. When utilizing a round tub, movement of the animals can be impeded if you overload or crowd the animals. Sheep need room to turn around and flow into the single file chute. They need to feel and see that there is room for movement. The tub should be filled only about half full, with the gate far enough back not to crowd the animals too tightly. If you have 15 minutes to move sheep, it will take you an hour. If you have an hour to move sheep, it will take you 15 minutes. The faster you try to go, the longer it takes to move animals. When working with animals, make sure you have enough time. Animals will sense if you are rushed and react in a non-cooperative manner. Move slowly. If you make sheep run, they are more likely to exhibit panic behaviors, turn back, and miss gates. When moving into barns, up ramps, or into trailers, allow sheep time to check out the entry area. This normally only takes a few seconds. Once animals feel safe and that it is their decision to proceed, they will go willingly and with less stress. Patience benefits the sheep and the handlers. A few other key points regarding handling include never lift, grab, or pull sheep by their wool. Bruising caused by grabbing wool is the leading cause of carcass damage in sheep. Electric prods are not effective on sheep and should not be utilized. If you use dogs for handling, they should be well trained, under the control of the handler at all times, and never allowed to bite or nip the sheep. Abuse of any animal is unacceptable and illegal. Sheep must never be kicked, struck, injured by handling equipment or facilities such as being hit by gates or intentionally abused in any way during handling. Moving sheep is a necessary part of flock management. Making handling as stress-free as possible by having a solid understanding of sheep behavior can potentially decrease losses and input costs. Producers are encouraged to use animal welfare assessments as management tools on their farms. By assessing each aspect of your animal's environment, you can more easily work to improve your facilities and production practices. An animal care assessment tool based on the code of practice for the care and handling of sheep is available through Alberta Lamb Producers and the Growing Forward 2 program. Detailed information regarding animal welfare and handling is available from a number of sources, including the code of practice for the care and handling of sheep. The Code of Practice serves as our national understanding of responsible animal care on sheep farms. Producers who comply with the code demonstrate their commitment to animal welfare and ensure their flocks have the care needed to thrive. Other sources of information include Alberta Farm Animal Care, Alberta's industry-driven livestock welfare advocacy organization, Jay Woods Livestock Services, and the Alberta Lamb Producers. Visit these websites to learn more about sheep behavior and handling facilities. Alberta Lamb Producers gratefully acknowledges the support of the Growing Forward 2 program in developing producer resources. Grants are available to help producers make on-farm improvements to animal welfare and handling systems. Visit growingforward.alberta.ca for details.